Today, I thought I'd make a video about Hank Green because he's just so great and John Green with The Fault in Our Stars is just getting so much attention, so I thought I'd hail him. And then I changed my mind. So I'm gonna talk about social media and more specifically, YouTube. So right now there's, there's so many platforms of social media and they slowly Facebook, for example. Just a few years ago, Facebook was huge. I mean, all of my friends were on it. You know, I was fairly late to Facebook. It was already starting to go down once I had come to it, but it's slowly disappearing. And then there's new types of social media like Instagram, Vine, Twitter, and the fault with all of these is eventually they're gonna disappear and something is going to replace them and it's because there's no true content within them. It's, it's something you go to when you're bored and there's nothing else to do. It's a way to procrastinate. And so with YouTube, you have this community as it's often referred to of creators and viewers and people who just want to collaborate and talk and you get the most down-to-earth discussions and sure there's tag videos with putting ice and salt in your hand or the coke and mentos or banana and sprite challenges which degrade it i think these are ways to just try and gain attention but for the most part the channels that i watch it's very down to earth with, for say, uh, Alex Bragdon or Kevin uh, Gissy. They're always talking about something that's true to them. And though these two creators often struggle with what content to make, they don't really know what, what belongs to them or if, the, if their videos are good and it's reflected throughout what they make. But what they always do post is something that's really important to them. And so my mission for YouTube is to, to post something that's important to me, something that I am passionate about, and never just throw something up there, which I kind of did with my texting sucks again. It was forced. I, I was trying to emulate other channels, and it wasn't true passion. And so with YouTube, people have this opportunity to create and respond and talk about issues that really affect all of us. And that's why I love YouTube so much. Other social platforms will rise and fall, and right now it may appear that YouTube's hitting a peak with all these new rules about monetization and focusing on the creators that are already famous, but I think it's just the beginning. There was a different YouTube before, and that was more focused on smaller and getting known when you weren't even important at the time. Becoming relevant was easy, but but I think this is just the start of YouTube becoming one of the greatest social platforms. Thanks for watching. I tried to post a sneak preview of something that I've been working on for you guys, but it just wasn't working. So you're just gonna have to wait, but there's something really good coming, I promise. Remember to like, subscribe, do all that shizness, uh, and most importantly, share this video around so that we can have a discussion. Bye.